Matthew Carroll, employment specialist manager. So you said that you uh, you started out as an employment specialist, and you said you were in that position for about six months, right? Right. Okay. And you've been here a little over a year and a half. But you left for a period of time? Um, I, I started here left in April 2012. Left for a month. Here for and, then and then came right back. You liked it that good? Uh, well. So, as an employment specialist, that's basically, you're getting, you're the first point of contact. Uh, do I understand that correctly? Like, if someone's calling in, Looking for a job? Employment specialist, yes. Because then there's also the job specialist. And a job specialist, they basically help people that are having trouble finding a job. Is that what? Am I understanding that correctly? Uh, I'm trying to distinguish the two. You have to have a more specific question. What exactly does a employment specialist do? Uh, employment specialist fields calls from users of the website that gets to assist them with their immediate employment. Okay. And what about a job specialist? What exactly do they do? A job specialist, they actually field calls from um, users of Gigits to help them with uh, their immediate employment. They field calls, did you say? They take calls. So basically it sounds like the same thing. Can you tell me the main difference between the two? The main difference? Mm-hmm. Two completely different job titles. <laughs> How about an advising specialist? What exactly what what's that position? What's an advising Retail. specialist? Or an advisor. An advising manager, what would an advising manager do? An advising manager would manage the advising. Okay. <laughs> How about a business analyst? What exactly would he do? <clears throat> Great question. I've never been in the position, so I don't know what their daily duties are. Um, I also don't want to speculate. How long does one normally, is there an average time someone stays in a specialist position before they move to a managerial position on average? Depends, depends on their performance? Depends on a lot of different factors. Do you have any of those factors that you could share with us? I do. What's one of those factors? Performance would be one. <clears throat> How's performance measured? How's performance measured? Mm -hmm, here. Like, is, is there like is this software that can count the number of calls that you take? For each specialist position, is it all is it all um Measured the same way. Does that make sense? Some maybe that doesn't make sense. Yes. Who's specialist? It would be more specific. <clears throat> if you are, are the specialists? Are their calls like recorded? Assumed by like a manager of a of a management. Uh, the system records that. The system. We don't take the There's no one that sits there and typically records it. It just takes what they want. Okay. And each call is. Is, is there an average time that each call is? Yes. It's 40, 45 minutes. Does that sound right? Approximately longer or shorter than 45 minutes? 20 minutes. Does that sound right? Yes, two calls will be better. How many questions are we having? Four? Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about the, your position? 
as employment specialist manager. Yeah. You want to tell us anything about it? If you have something specific, I'm happy to answer. How many people do you manage? Well, How many specialists do you manage? Currently 14. How many employment specialist managers are there? Makers, they use the. It's, I think they call it will. Does that sound familiar? You know, will. Uh, will yeah. Is he a record? Is his voice recorded for the sale maker position? No. So is the recorded person only a male? time that a specialist stays a specialist before they could be promoted to a manager role? Maybe. You said it took you were you were in a you were in a specialist position for six months, correct? Yes. Roughly. I guess it could also depend on Out a lot. I think we've got him. 